this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and making costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome costume without breaking the bank. Maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today's costume is super easy. It was not expensive at all. It's an easy throw together costume and we are doing Boris Karloff's Frankenstein. Let's get started. Easy peasy. Black shirt, uh, black or dark colored slacks. I have like a dark gray black tweed pants and a black blazer. That's it. That's all you need. Some shoes. These are shoes that I actually bought for another costume. So I don't really... I bought them for another costume, so I ended up doing this one because they're perfect for this one, too. So this is going to be a multiple costume boot for me. They were the most expensive part of this ensemble. You may already have some giant platform shoes at home. It's not a requirement. It is optional. If you're already tall, obviously you don't need that. And then I got this ridiculous headpiece. I bought this on Amazon. As you can see, it looks like a mullet. <laughs> and it's really weird. I'm gonna have to do some work on it, but I'll have you with me while I do that. I'm probably gonna end up cutting some of it. It, it definitely needs work. Let's go ahead and get started. So look at this mess. It's like a big giant net underneath that's way bigger than anybody's head. And it's got tracks that are sewn on. So I'm gonna take my seam ripper and start taking off these tracks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna detach the netting altogether and have it lay flat against the back of my head. I'm just going to be spirit gumming this to the side of my head so that it stays. I'm gonna probably be cutting off the excess. So it's a bit of a project. Do I recommend? I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. Because at least if I did recommend, you would know how to fix it if you're watching this channel. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I took off the tracks from the bottom of this horrible netting. And what I'm gonna do now is I've detached the netting as well, all the way up to where the top of the head is. And I'm gonna pull this in some because it's really big, the netting, and it causes the hair to stick out. So I'm gonna pull it in and I'm gonna be hot gluing it further in so that that way it'll be tighter on my head and I can attach some hair to it and kind of blend it because this this rubber part is huge and I only I don't need so much and I can trim this if I want to and all I'll do is uh, I'll add some Crayola model magic to blend this thick rubber in with my eyebrows and face so it's gonna be a little work to fix this guy but the forehead you know it has potential you know I kind of like the way the forehead's done I don't like the color I'm gonna change the color of it it's kind of bright green. I'm gonna do like a little bit more of a muted green. Just paint over it. It's not bad, it's just, it's gonna require work to get it looking halfway decent. That's what I'm doing next. I'll take some progress shots as I go. Let's do this. Here, I'm just tucking back the excess mesh to cut the excess material. You're going to need to hot glue each end of the tracks so that they don't fray. Once the tracks were glued on either end, I hot glued the track at the end and hot glued it to the forehead where there was excess flesh and I'm covering up the sides now and the idea is to get the tracks re-glued so that they are covering up more of the sides of the head and the nape going straight down as before the tracks had been placed upside down and were kind of flipped out now they will be more downward and this is the finished product now i'm going to take some of this gel it's a styling gel you can use any kind and i'm going to glob it on to the hair that i've reattached to the nape and sides of the wig and i'm going to let that dry overnight but it looks a lot better. As you can see, we have our wig on. We're gonna need this because we're going to be working with it. 
we've got to blend it in and all of that. I've got to paint it. I'm going to glue it on actually with some spirit gum first. I've glued down my eyebrows with the Elmer's glue and let's get started with this. So it would pretty much be the same makeup if you're doing like Herman Munster because he's pretty much Frankenstein, right? I obviously don't look like Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff didn't have a round face and big eyes and all these things, but he was my favorite person to ever play Frankenstein or a Frankenstein character. He had the look. I'm kind of going to try and emulate Boris Karloff. That's my uh, my inspiration for this costume, but I'm not gonna look like Boris Karloff, unfortunately. I'm gonna look like Halloween being Boris Karloff. So <laughs> that's how that's gonna go down, but I'm good with it. I've made peace with it, no problem. I'm actually running out of this color. It's such a great color. If you're just getting started with your Ben Nye or Miron collection, this is one you're gonna wanna have in your collection. And I have the big one. I've used it a lot. It's a great color for zombie, death, um, anything like that. It's actually called Frankenstein. It's the Ben Nye Aqua and Frankenstein. And it's all the way to the ends, but I think I have enough to just do my face and hands and neck and all that. So it's, I'm gonna have to scrape it out of there. I have black, licorice black from Ben Nye. I have emerald green from Ben Nye. And I have warm brown. Don't know what all I'll be using, but if you've seen any of my other videos, as usual, I will put down in the description below what I used, because some of these things sometimes I don't end up using. And I don't want you to be buying a bunch of stuff that I said in the beginning that I didn't use. So we'll see what I end up using. I'll put it in the description below and you can check that out if you want to create this look. I've already glued down my eyebrows. I've glued down this face piece thing for the most part. I'm gonna get it in the front too. This is a very thick, I'll let you guys know if it's, if it's unforgiving and you just can't use it. You know, if I ever buy something, I'll let you know don't buy this buyer beware i've done it for a few things already this was salvageable you know i just had to work on it a little bit i showed you that in the beginning some things you can change and make them better and it works you know but this forehead i thought just was great i really liked the way the forehead looked i'm gonna work with it of course i'm using my crayola model magic I'm almost down to the end of this one. It's lasted for several costumes now. And I'm gonna be doing my brows with this. He had a raised brow and it kind of went just straight across. And we're gonna blend that raised brow with the forehead. I don't know what y'all are doing this weekend, but I'm going camping and I'm super excited about it. I am a hardcore camper. I don't do the RVs and all that. I pitch a tent. We make hot dogs, hamburgers, and s'mores and do the whole thing. So that's how I do camping. <laughs> and I'm excited because I bet I haven't been camping in, oh my gosh, it's been so long. I can't even remember the last time. But I think I was still married to my first husband the last time I went camping. And that's been a long time. So I'm super excited. We're going to Lithia Springs. We're going Friday and Saturday. And then we're coming back Sunday because my husband can't handle hardcore camping. I was like, what? Two days? Why not three days? Let's... He's like, oh, I think two days is enough. <laughs> We're not going to have like inflatable mattresses or anything like that. We're doing sleeping bags in a tent. That's the way I like to do camping. I like to come back. I like to smell like the campfire when I get back. That's what I do. And yeah, is it uncomfortable? Sure. But I don't know. It's just an experience that I love and it's worth it to me. You see this? what I'm doing. I just rolled this and I'm, I'm fitting it now to my brow. It's crazy. I didn't even put glue yet. It's kind of staying on its own. This stuff's amazing. I've said that in many videos. I'm going to try and blend it as close as I can to the thickness of the mask here. If you want it to be real thin, you just kind of rip at the edges and it'll tear off and be real thin. You can blend it a lot. This is doing great already. This stuff really is magic. Hey Crayola, reach out to me. I'll do a commercial for you. Like when it gets to be around Halloween, that'd be a great commercial for Crayola Model Magic. I don't even know if they have commercials for this stuff, but I can vouch for you that it's awesome for costumes. I'm gonna put the glue on now and replace it. Should have done that first. You know what's actually sticking? I don't know if I'm gonna 
need glue because I had glue on my forehead from gluing on the mask thing, the forehead, and it's kind of sticky. I don't want to mess up the shape that I've created. I'm also going to add some liquid latex and that'll help it stick too. Just in the places where it's not sticking, I'm going to put some glue. If you're really good at makeup and contouring and all of that, you probably can make your eyebrows look raised with makeup. You know, you just do dark on the bottom, dark on the top, and then they'll kind of look like they're protruding out. I'm not great at contouring. I'll tell you something about contouring. I feel like it's so much crap on your face that it's like gonna clog your pores and, and it takes a long time too. I see these girls watching, uh, doing makeup things on, uh, on YouTube and stuff. And I'm going, dude, I don't, I don't have time for all of that. You know what I mean? My face is my face. You don't like it, whatever. But I'm not going to sit here and contouring my face, trying to make my nose look thinner and my cheeks look smaller and my chin look, no, I don't have time for all of that. I put on my foundation, blush, eyeliner. I always have to have my brows on. Then I put on some mascara and lipstick and I'm out the door. And that's, <laughs> that doesn't take very long and I've gotten good at it over the years. I had to get my scissors. I'm gonna trim some of this up a little bit. I'm gonna try and make it as thin as I can so that it's easier to blend. I actually don't love liquid latex, but man, I mean, you have to have it if you're blending anything in. I don't really know of an alternative for that yet. I'll look into it. For people that are allergic to latex, I don't know what you would blend with, but I will look into that if you wanna know. And I'll try and find out. Now I've got my liquid latex here. Does anyone else hate apple? I, I hate apple. I don't even like it at all. They give you these little notifications and they come at all hours of the day and night. You might get one at three in the morning and it wakes you up from your sleep. Like, I don't need to know some of this stuff. It's news, top story, it's been one year since the Uvalde school shooting. Okay, well, thanks for the info. I don't need updates constantly, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty up on the news. All right, so I'm just gonna take my Q-tip. Okay, so I'm gonna just start blending this in. You wanna kinda go thick with it. I put quite a bit in this dish because the latex has to be thick to blend. I hate when the Q-tips do this. Like, what can I, what? I'm gonna do a little bit up here too. My eyes are kind of sticking my eyelids. Now we're gonna do something with the eyelids as well because Boris Karloff had kind of like, well, his eyes were kind of droopy. We're gonna make them like that with some Crayola Model Magic. Liquid latex needs a better smell, honestly. This stuff smells gross. I can't even describe the smell. It just stinks. Once it dries, it doesn't stink. Like you're not gonna smell it all night or anything, but it just, all these years, this stuff's been around and you couldn't have come up with a better smell by now. I'm gonna try and make this as kind of as smooth as possible. We will be painting over it, so. It dries fast, you gotta get it on quick if you're using the, la the liquid latex. I've never done Frankenstein before. Always bright a Frankenstein. So if you're looking for costume ideas, you don't know what to do. I've done a bright a Frankenstein video and now I'm doing Frankenstein. If you're a couple, you can go as the bright of Frankenstein and Frankenstein and you'll know how to do it. To give myself the illusion of a Frankenstein eye, I rolled out some Crayola paper clay and I tried this off camera first to see if it was even gonna work and uh, it's a real thin piece make a real thin eyelid piece and then I put some spirit gum on there to stick it on any trimming you have to do use a manicure scissor and I'm trimming the other one right now and I'm gonna glue the other one there when you're gluing these down you're gonna be careful not to get the spirit gum in your eye and this is totally optional. You don't even have to do this part. But I just thought Boris Karloff has very high eyes. <laughs> like he, he looks like he's been in the car for a little while hot boxing. So I just wanted to convey that. In my version, you want to kind of let the glue get tacky so that it's not so runny. So when you put it on your eye, 
it's not trying to seep into your eye. I'm going to now start painting my face. And I told you I didn't like this green color that they made the, the head. So I'm gonna try and paint over that too. It's just like a little too bright, you know? Frankenstein was not neon green. He was more like of a muted green, which is what this Frankenstein green is. Again, it's a great color. You want to get this if you don't have any. You'll use it for a lot of different costumes. The big one has lasted me for years. So I think at one point I even had another one, another big one, and I used all of that too. So I'm just going to try and paint as much as I can. Anything that maybe I can't get, I'm going to try and go over it with some black. You know, usually the Ben Nye paints right over the liquid latex. So that's why I'm a little confused. I'm not looking. Let me get another light on here. This head is a little ridiculous. It's gonna be kind of over-exaggerated, but it's never a bad idea to go over the top when you're doing costumes, to be a little over-exaggerated or a little bit emphasized. People, people relate to that, they kind of like it. Oh, I can't forget to put my bolts on. I was just thinking, Remember when I was the Cheshire Cat? I totally forgot to put my whiskers on. This seems like a costume I might forget to put my bolts on. So, I'll try to remember. I got my bolts, so I don't forget. <laughs> they have little uh, self-adhesive stick things. That's gonna help a lot when putting these on, but I'm still gonna use my, uh, my spirit gum. And I'm still gonna use liquid latex to blend it, to try to. What I don't like, the only problem that I have with this whole headpiece and mask and stuff is that the rubber is so thick. It's not like a, a foam latex or anything. It's just a cheap costume shop thing. That's how it presented. <laughs> That's just what it is. I can't spend a fortune on every costume. I actually spent quite a bit on the boots for this one, but I'm using them. I actually bought the boots for another costume that I'm doing which is gonna be insane, that costume. And you're gonna have to subscribe if you wanna see what it is. That costume's gonna be wild. Very, very wild. Very big deal, that one. <laughs> a lot of work. Might be like a 45 minute long video. Also, these boots can be used probably for a lot of other costumes. They were like a hundred bucks, but you know, I went ahead and spent the money because I'm gonna use them a lot. Like I said, you don't have to even get platform boots you could just wear black shoes you know nobody's gonna go oh you're not wearing platforms they're just not so <laughs> you do you Ooh, this is starting to look really good but I'll tell you what I had to do and I think it's because my Ben Nye that particular one is so old that I think that the pigment in it is getting weak I'm not sure if that's a thing but it seems it's harder to cover this time than it ever has been. And I've used it many, many, many times for many different things. I've had it for years and years. I actually have acrylic paint because I'm a painter too. And uh, I mixed up some to match the color and I'm just hitting any areas that didn't cover with the acrylic paint. <laughs> you can use this on your skin, it's totally safe. So, but it's kind of a good thing that these things happen sometimes because I'm gonna offer you alternatives if something like that happens, something else that you can do to fix it. So it just took a little longer than usual to try and get it to cover and then I had to mix the paint and you know, put the paint on, but it's it's pretty even and I think it looks great. You're gonna look great too. And I, I know that if you buy a brand new Ben Nye Frankenstein or you even get a Frankenstein color from Mayron, it'll work well for you. You won't have to do the paint thing I assure you of that, but I just had to do it this time. Remember, if you're gonna be painting your body, I'm gonna be painting my hands. You're gonna wear your, you're gonna want your Ben Nye Final Seal or your Mayron Barrier Spray. Now we're gonna start doing the fun part, which is the shading and stuff. I've got my Ben Nye in licorice black, and I'm gonna go in the creases of my eyes with that. We're not really trying to create like a circle or anything. We just kind of want like <laughs> a lack of sleep look don't really want to go on my eyelid. I wanted my eyelid to kind of stay green. That's looking good. 
and this is covering see this is covering on where the latex is so I think it's just that my paint was old they probably should have an expiration date on these things I'm gonna do that with each eye I'm actually even gonna go up under here and anything that looks like it's not covering I'm gonna hit it with some eyeshadow some black eyeshadow I'm keeping one side of my sponge to clean up where I go over with the black. I don't know, I like it kind of a little on the nose like that. Now I'm coming in to the cheekbones. I'm gonna try and do a little contouring here after I just talk smack about contouring. You may have noticed that my hair is darker. It's only temporary. I did it because I've got some costumes coming up that I need my hair to be darker. I actually don't know what I want to do with my hair. I'm having a real issue trying to figure out, you know, kind of what hair do I want. I've got the grays coming in fast and furious. And I just don't really know what I want to do with my hair. So right now it's just going to be different all the time. So I just went into my cheekbones here. Just like a blush, kind of. I'm going to do some work here under the eyes. I don't think I'll have an issue with the eyeshadow. I think we need a little under the eyes too. Now I'm going to put the black on top of here a little bit and under my chin. It's also going to kind of reshape my face a little bit. All right, what do you think? I definitely think we need some lines kind of around the mouth here. Just went down here in the middle, that little dip there. I gotta find out what's the name of that part. <laughs> I'm here with the, the shadow. We are almost done. I'm gonna do a little. I think that did it. Now all I'm going to do is take my, uh, since my, all I did with these was I glued them down with the spirit gum and then blended them with liquid latex. Now I'm just going to paint the green over them. This is my acrylic paint. And once that's painted, I'll blend it in with my sponge. I might do a little black even. A little black blending. I'm wondering if I should line my water line. I think I'm going to. All I have to do now is get dressed and uh, do my hands, ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's look. There were a few hurdles with this one that I don't normally do. Well, I haven't, I haven't ever done this costume before, but I was pretty content in what I was doing, but some things didn't work out. I had to try other things. And if you're ever in a situation like that and you want to reach out to me and you don't have any good ideas on how to fix something or you need advice on how to do something, just hit me up in the comments. I'm glad to answer any questions you may have. I've been doing this since I was a little kid. I'm not a professional or anything, but I've tried a lot, I've failed a lot, and I've tried again and had success. So I do have a lot of knowledge as far as that goes. 
Anyway, if you loved this costume, check out my Bride of Frankenstein costume, because there's a perfect couple's costume for you right there. And I will link that down below. There's going to be a lot more coming up. Again, I am doing a costume every week from now until October, and then two every week in October. So a lot is going to be coming up that you don't want to miss. So make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time.